Welcome once again to Davardi Glass Videos. Today we're working with Davardi's astounding metallic coppery black. Davardi is very proud to introduce this metallic coppery black glass to the lamp working community. As I'm sure you're aware, this is a one of a kind glass and only available through Davardi Glass. Now, the first thing you need to know about the coppery black is that you cannot use an oxygen propane setup. If you use any type of oxygen with your propane, the oxygen will immediately burn off the coppery effect on the glass. The only type of torch that will bring out the coppery effect is a propane only or a map gas only torch such as the hothead, the mag torch and a few other all propane lamp working torches that are on the market. We used a standard plumber's torch to see if that would work and we could not bring out the coppery effect with a standard plumber's torch. So we suggest torches that are made for lamp working only. Now you can start out using the oxygen propane torch to shape your bead and work it the way you want to, but then you'll need to switch to an all propane torch to bring out the coppery effect. Now it's uh, fairly simple to bring out the coppery color in the surface of the glass, but uh, you need to learn how to do it, and there is a trick. Once you learn this trick, it uh, works quite well. Basically, you need to melt the glass and form your bead, and then pull it from, from the flame and allow it to cool. Once it cools slightly so that it no longer glows, brush the bead quickly back into the flame right at the tip of the, the blue portion where you form your bead and in and out you can just watch that coppery effect just surface onto your bead. Now one thing when you are bringing out the coppery effect on this glass you may want to remove didymium glasses because the didymium will hamper the copper sheen from being seen. So uh, temporarily remove those glasses. Uh, I would suggest using uh, some clear protective glasses just temporarily so you can see the copper. Once you get used to doing this a few times you can leave your didymium glasses on because even though you can't see that rich coppery color, you can tell that it's on there. It'll just be a different color, like a type of silvery appearance. Once you take your glasses off, you can see it. That it's not really silver, it's actually copper. But if you get used to this, then you can just leave your glasses on. Now we're uh, on to our third bead here that we're making, just to show you how simple it is to uh, bring out this coppery effect. It'll just take a little bit of getting used to and once you get used to exactly what you need to do in the flame to bring out that coppery effect, it'll just become habit. This is just a set of uh, heat sink from the back of a computer that uh, I use to shape my bead a little bit. It's amazing what uh, us lamp workers will scrounge up to use as tools for working our glass. I've tried to scrounge up some of these heat sinks for uh, sale on our website and I haven't been able to locate a source yet but uh, I'm looking. Now we've uh, 
finished with this bead and uh, I've let it cool a little bit and just brushing it back into the flame and you can see that copper just starting to sparkle through the surface. That's it folks. Thanks so much again for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I really hope you enjoy this glass. This is some fantastic stuff and uh, well worth it. There's the final bead. Bye now.